What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now today, have we got big news regarding the cricketing world at the moment. We've got the, well, I was about to say the BCCI. Let's just call them Team India. Team India has officially announced, finally, I, I didn't know if these squads were ever going to release. Feels like we've been waiting a while, but we have officially got the T20 squad announced for India. Um, the tour of, no, the home series, sorry, against South Africa. Um, and the test, the one test, of course, um, that was was not played against England last year, of course, due to the row row and stuff. Um, so we're gonna, obviously, that test will be replayed um, in England. Obviously, I don't. Yeah, I <laughs> well, we're just gonna go through the squads, of course, here, and um, we're gonna go through the good, the bad, and maybe the ugly. So hey, if you guys are new, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts about the teams in the comments. Who who's unlucky? Who who were you happy about being in there? So. Of course, you know, I, I, I'm not someone who stays off social media for an entire day. I, I did see that the squads were announced. I did see, you know, one or two players that were announced. I did tweet out about um, the man Ashdeep Singh making the T20 squad. So I already know about that. But I haven't really gone through any of the squads because I wanted to reserve them for this sort of, um, you know, video. So, hey, let's just get straight into it, ladies and gentlemen. 18-member squad for the five-match T20 International Home Series against South Africa. Alrighty. Let's see. So now, obviously, guys like um, Rowett's been rested. Based on his form, he probably doesn't make it. But <laughs> Virat's been rested as well. Uh, I think I think Jadeja might have been rested. I don't see his name in here as well. So, hey, a few veterans missing from the team. Um, but I think this 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 squad should still have enough to get the job done. Let's go through it. Rahul the skipper, obviously. Guykwood has to be in there. Ishan Kishan, yes. Deepak Huda had a really good season for LSG. We love to see it. Shreyas Iyer, obviously. Pam, yes. The man DK, the man DK back in the squad once again. That is what hard work will do, and that is what being a legend will do. And that is what being the greatest cricketer, arguably, of all time will be. So, well done to DK. Um, the man Hardik Pandya, of course, he's had a great year for, for the Titans. Venki Iyer, look, didn't have a great year for Cole Carter, but he's someone who should be bowling at least two to four overs a game and should be batting top five. So, I really hope if he is playing, they bowl him and he bats in the top five. That's all I ask. Um, Chahal, obviously. Kuldeep, Yes. Patel, yes. Bishnoi, yeah. I think he had a good, you know, few T20s against um, the Windies and Sri Lanka, I think it was. Or ODIs um, at the start of this year, I think it was. I can't really remember, but I do remember him playing and, and playing one or two games, and he actually took a few wickets. So, hey, the Bish, you know, didn't have a great year in the IPL, you know, maybe not to his standards, but... Um, yeah, he's still, he's still an exciting young spinner. So, you know, it's someone cool being in the squad. Boovy, obviously, he's actually, you know, had a really good year. Purple Patel, obviously. Avesh Khan, yep. I mean, Ashdeep Singh. Hey, what a, what a story for this guy. I mean, it's just so good. And Umran Malik, of course, um, the, the paceman himself. That's the right call. Now, we, the, look, the great things about this squad, DK, you love to see it. Arsh deep, you love to see it. Um, you know, I think all of the other picks are quite, you know, obvious. I mean, a guy like Bishnoi, you know, I, he wouldn't have been my first, you know, my next choice spinner, especially when you've got guys like Chahal, Yadav, Aksar Patel. I mean, that's probably enough spinners. Huda can bowl as well. Um, but, you know, they'll probably give him a game or two at the end. But who's missing? Let's just go through the uh, the comments here to see... Because I'm sure people in the comments will let me know. Well, firstly, the first thing that I do notice is no Tripathi, um, no Abhishek Sharma, which, you know, look, I think Abhishek Sharma was never going to be picked, but I would have liked to see it. Um, I thought he had a really good year for, for Sunrisers, but I guess Sunrisers keep getting snubbed, except for Booby. So, all right, let's go in the comments. How do we do that? Here we go. Nope, that's not it. Um... I, ne I never really use Twitter um, on my laptop unless I'm making a video. So, let's see what's here. Shame on, okay, no Tripathi. No, I forgot. Oh, no Shika. 
No Natish Rana. No Sanju. Oh my god. I didn't even look. Whoopsie. I didn't even think about that. How is Shika not in the squad? Nah, nah. You guys got me fucked up, BCCR. How is Shika not in the squad? So this all but confirms that Shika will not be a part of the World Cup squad for, Australia, uh, for, for India coming to Australia. If Shikha Darwan isn't even a part of an 18-man squad without Jadeja, without Virat, and without Rohit, I don't think there's any chance he, he plays in the World Cup. And that's disappointing because he has had an absolute outstanding year for Punjab, has been consistent, has been a great leader on and off the field, um, and he's just a great guy and someone who everyone respects and loves so much. That's you, that, I'm actually really disappointed now. Like, you know, we like to be as honest as we can on this channel. We don't like to, you know, say any bullshit or, or you know, try and be too nice just for no reason. But, like, let's, let's, let's all be honest right now. You and me watching. Let's be honest. Now, this hurts to say, but I love Venkatesh Iyer. I think he's still going to be a great all-rounder for Team India in the future in, in white ball cricket. But... Man, you know, if he isn't going to bowl, if Venkatesh Ayer does not bowl once in this entire series, then we will have a problem. But if he bowls, that's fair enough. But to leave the man Shikha Darwan out, I mean, and Samson as well. I mean, fair enough for Samson. I, I feel like he had a good season for Rajasthan, but nothing outstanding. No Natish Rana as well. That's that's a little bit ups annoying. Um, no Tripathi as well. So... Hey, I mean, it seems like India, they've kind of gone for a, a youth perspective. They're trying to look at the future of Team India instead of, you know, trying to win the series as much as they can, which in some ways can be a good thing, in some ways can be a bad thing, but I guess we'll see. If they win the series, then we, there's no dramas. So I think those are the big outs. Um, yeah, I think, I think we've covered the T20 squad enough. So let's go into the test squad. This is what matters to me the most out of anything. Test squads, but not only a test squad, this is a one match test, of course, for the fifth rescheduled test against England um, to decide the series, essentially. I mean, this is gonna be the biggest test almost of the year, if, no, it will be, because, yeah, no, for sure it will be. Um, let's just go through it. I, I, I have not looked at one thing for the, for the um, oh, except for Prasid Krishna, I did see that Prasid Krishna got picked. Um, so yeah, I did see that, but I haven't gone through much of the squad. So let's do it here, ladies and gentlemen. Just one second while it loads. Okay, here we go. Rohit Sharma, the skip, obviously. Rahul, yes. Gil, yeah, I mean, he'll just be on the bench, but that's okay. Virat, obviously. Oh, yeah. I think he's obviously good to have in the squad. Does he play... Yes, yes, I think Ayer will find himself a spot in the side. Um, Vahari, unfortunately, won't play, but yeah, he deserves to be a part of it. Pajara, who has made a mountain of runs in county cricket in England this year. Obviously, he's going to be in there. He'll bat at three. Um, Pant, obviously. KS Baharat as the backup wicketkeeper. Um, Jadeja, good to see him a part of the squad, of course. Um, Ashwin, obviously. Lord Thakua. Obviously. Um, Shami, yes. Bumra. I mean, nothing changed from the bowling attack. Uh, Shami, Bumra, Muhammad Siraj, Umesh Yadav. And then they added Prasid Krishna. Um, so I think Ishant Sharma was the other bowler, a part of this squad last year. But I don't think Sharma's available. So they brought in Krishna as that kind of fifth, you know, seam attack option. Um, obviously won't play. But... It's good experience for him. I don't know how much experience or how well he's ever done, um, you know, in List A cricket or county cricket, oh, whatever, you know, the Ranji Trophy. I don't know how well he's ever done, but I like it. It brings something new, um, a little bit of excitement with it. I think it's a pretty good squad. I can't notice anything that, that doesn't make sense to me. I guess, you know, the backup opener, Gil, that makes sense. Um... I mean, backup wicket keeper. They've got Baharat, but um, I believe he is their next wicket keeper for India. Well, supposedly that's what everyone keeps telling me, so I'll just believe you, everyone. Um, 
But no, I, I definitely think they've got this squad right. I don't think there's anything that you would change to this squad that I can look at. Let's go into the comments because this, again, this is where you get all of either the good or the bad. So here we go. People are just listing their 11s. Rahul. Okay, we're going to skip on from that one. Um, what? Okay, this guy does not have Rohit Sharma in his 11. So it's automatically just <laughs> bullshit. I mean, we're not looking at any 11 that doesn't have Rohit. Here we go. Um, Rahul. Here we go. So here, we got a real 11 here. Um, Rahul, Rohit, Ovi, Vahari? Where's Pajar? No, okay, never mind. Um, we won't be talking about that squad then. Uh, <laughs> it does not look like, um, many people are overly happy. <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot of, there's a lot of upsetting we see here. Um, well, this is true. You know, why is KS Paha at the standby keeper instead of Samson? Or even Saha. Um, yes, Saha. Um, I don't know what that means, but I think, you know, I mean, he's not going to play, so who really cares, you know, as long as he's there for the experience. Um, where's Agarwal? No, definitely not. Um, Umran is okay. Um, okay, it feels like everyone's probably just got to... Okay, that's a nice photo. We like that. All the best, Hitman, someone says. Yeah, we like that. Okay. So, hey, I guess that's going to cap it off. Um, pretty solid squad. I will make a... Should I make a... Uh, yeah, no, I will. I'll make a separate video on my preferred 11 for both squads. Um, but, I mean, if I'm just thinking about what the squad would look like now, it would be Sharma. Um, yeah, Sharma, Rahul, Pajara, Kohli, Aya. Um... Pant, Jadeja, Taku, what's that, Takua, that's an 8, uh, Boomerang 9, Siraj 10, and Ashwin 11. So, I think I just probably named an 11, I don't know who I left out, I left out Siraj, I mean Yadav, but since it's in England, they, they would probably want to play the extra pace option, so I guess you could, um, you know, sit someone like Takua and then bring in like a Siraj or a Yadav or even a Prasid Krishna if you're feeling a bit fancy. But, hey, that will cap it off, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the squad. What's your preferred squads? Um, if you do comment a squad without either Virat or Rowett, I'm just going to move straight over them comments <laughs> because, obviously, Rowett and Virat will both be in the squad. So, be serious. Give you a real prediction. Um, but, hey, that will cap it off. Hope everyone enjoyed. I'll see everyone in the next one.